If our ushers will please come forward, we'll prepare to take our morning offering. Before I pray, I just want to share a quick story with you from John chapter 6. And in this story, we see the miracle of Jesus feeding the 5,000. And if you recall the story, Jesus is in Galilee, and he's teaching the people up on the mountainside. He's been teaching them all day, and everyone's getting hungry. But he doesn't want to send the people home. So he goes to the disciples, and he says, I want you guys to figure out a way how we can feed all of these people. Well, the disciples, they start looking around going, how are we going to accomplish this? And all they can find is one boy who has a Jewish happy meal. He has five loaves of bread and two fish. Well, of course, this is not enough food in order to feed all of these people. But Jesus, he had a plan. He asked the boy for his lunch. He took it. He blessed it, thanked God for it, and he broke it into pieces And the disciples distributed it amongst the people. And in verses 12 and 13, we read this. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. So in this amazing miracle, we see that God not only satisfied the physical hunger of the people, but also had more than enough left over. The Bible says 12 baskets full. Now today, as we come into this time of offering, you might be like those disciples, and you might be thinking, well, the gift that I have, it's insignificant. It's so small, it can't make any kind of impact in the kingdom of God. But what God is saying is, whether you have a little or a lot, I don't care. It doesn't matter. What I want you to do is simply be obedient, like this small boy who just gave Jesus what he had, and then God took it, blessed it, and multiplied it for his kingdom purposes. Now, before I pray, we also...